improving your quality of life here on the early show and part of that is making things easy for you to do so this morning we have numbers for you to live by from the amount of sweeteners you can have each day to the number of martinis every week that you should be having we're examining a healthy life by the numbers and joining us someone we can always count on health magazine's francis largeman rob always good to have you back with us oh thank you Erica. because you always have good fun information for us that's easy to digest which we like so we should really limit ourselves to certain things for good reason that's right but the first thing i'm interested we're talking about vitamin d and i keep hearing about how you know vitamin d is so important for bones for everything else we get a little bit from the sun um so we're supposed to only have a certain amount a day is that because then it's useless afterwards no no we should be getting okay we should be getting a certain amount and you guessed it just right i guess right a thousand i use a day because what we're finding is that so many people are deficient because we're not getting enough sun right and we put sunscreen on and so our skin isn't making it and uh, and what we're finding is that it's linked to so many things depression breast cancer diabetes blood high blood pressure so a thousand i use a day and you want to get it from vitamin d3 that's the best form okay. that your body can absorb. And we can find them in tablets. That's easy enough. And I should I should have mentioned this off the top, but these are my guesses of how much we need each we'll week of some did. of the things we're talking about. So next we're talking about sugar and artificial sweeteners. There's no card, no number that I put here for artificial sweeteners because my guess is a big fat zero that you shouldn't have any of these. Well, actually, you know, they are safe, but we don't really know the long-term effect of having a lot of artificial sweeteners. So we said three packets a day. Okay. You Let know, just don't go overboard. No Be more moderate. than three packets a day when it comes to sugar. I guess I didn't know what to get. Six teaspoons a day. I'm guessing, though, that probably that's fairly conservative. You're very close. It should be no more than eight teaspoons a day of added sugar. But right now, we're getting, on average, 30. Wow. 30 teaspoons wow. a day. Wow. Because it's in everything. It's in ketchup. It's in salad dressing. It's in bread. So you really want to read your labels okay. and make sure that there are very minimal added sugars and things. And so then, you know, don't lo load up in your coffee. Don't put on your own or on your cereal. Sushi. I guess three, no more than three times a week, only because we're always told you should eat fish three times exactly. a week, right? Yeah, and it's super healthy for us, great for our hearts, great for our skin, amazing. But when people eat sushi, they tend to eat tuna and spicy tuna. And uh, the thing is that we choose, you know, what they use for the tuna is the high larger the larger fish. They use bluefin, right. which is high in mercury, so three rolls a week. Okay, so limit ourselves to three. Exactly. Next up, the cocktails. Nobody's going to want to hear this. For women, okay, what did you guess? I guessed um, I guessed three three a week. And I was thinking, I, I should clarify this way too. I was really thinking like cocktails as in alcohol, not necessarily beer or wine. So I was guessing three a week. You know what? It doesn't matter. All the same. It doesn't matter. Okay. So it's five a week for women, whether it's a glass of wine or a 12-ounce beer or, or a one-and-a-half-ounce shot and a, a little liquor. bit more for men. We're really tight on time, so I'm going to yes. move you along. Okay. Moving along. Ibuprofen, non-steroidal, anti-inflammatory. I mean, I guess eight per day. There were times when I was running a lot that I would take a lot more than that, and I probably okay, shouldn't Okay, no have. more than six, and you want to follow the directions because what's happening is that 30% of Americans are taking too much, and they end up with ulcers or other GI that we problems. Don't want. So stick to what it says, six a day. Okay, no limited to six. six. How many calories do I need to cut out? You got Every it right. Day. 500? 500 a day to lose a pound a, a week. A pound a week. And then most importantly, Chris teased this. Sex. People need to be having sex, and you need one what per day? Orgasm. Okay. Okay, yes. Yeah, one happy ending go. a day. It's great for circulation, great for reducing stress, and that's good for our hearts. Have a cocktail. Good for Find your someone you love. Too. And there you go. <laughs> Friends, it's always good to have you with us. Thank you. Thank Stay you. with us. We'll be back. This is The Early Show on CBS. <laughs> Here's our man. There you go. Okay, now what do you think second. of the numbers? I'm just going to say one thing right now. I'm afraid of what's going on. The number one about. that you posted was one. What, what do we need? One? Orgasm. And nobody react. No, not even a response. <laughs> I mean, are you people dead or what? <laughs> How much prompting do you need? Does somebody need a martini? <laughs> Seriously. Is that what we need? <laughs> yeah. Just loosen everybody up a little bit this morning. Um, so, this, uh, this study. <laughs> study. Sorry. What are you interested in getting involved in the what next What university one, got behind this? Francis, Actually, good to this, see you first of all. From an, okay. Great to see you, Chris. This came from an expert, not yeah. from a university study. Yeah. And basically, it's really it's great for your circulation. It releases natural opiates, yeah. which help to reduce stress. Sure. And uh, you know, doesn't matter if it's with someone or by yourself. <laughs> oh, hey. oh, well, that's good hey. to know. And on that note, let's go to weather. Lonnie Quinn is. <laughs> 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 hey. <laughs> Can you tell we're having I'm a so good sorry. time with this segment? I'm so sorry. Uh, this though, I'm uh, <laughs> serious things up here a little because of the whole hamstring issue because that Chris I was talking about. Because Chris pulled his hamstring yesterday, I mean, yes. Literally, Ooh, you know, thank are God you for a leave. Right now? Thank okay. God. Well, let me say something about a leave. That's naproxen, so that's actually only three a day.
really. But yeah. this, and there was also a study about, there was a study that came stronger. out about these this week that naproxen wasn't necessarily an issue, but that things uh, like I, things with ibuprofen, you could actually have a higher risk of, I think it was, um, of heart heart issues if you took too many of them. So. I mean, another reason to really follow all those warnings well, is and, that and if you're on effects. blood thinners, you yeah. can't have that many. So yeah. talk to your doctor about it. And also, don't take it. Th don't take them longer than 10 days in a row because that can be an issue. Yeah. Well, hopefully, it won't be that. that and I'll tell you, the Aleve, the anti-inflammatory. Uh, you could also just have a cocktail. <laughs> Stay with us. There's more to come on the early show on CBS.